What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video and today is kind of a very important one. Uh, this is for uh, answering a lot of questions for you guys. You know, a lot of people, you know, message me or comment, put in the comment section below, yo, I just got this truck, I just bought my first truck, I bought this truck, you know, yo, should I put, you know, should I put this lift on? Should I put these wheels, these tires on? And I'm like, in half time, I read them, I'm like, my answer is no, 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 and no. They are cheap, budget friendly, uh, you know, lift kits, wheels, tires, and uh, I'm just gonna tell you straight up here, you will have a bad time. Uh, I've gone through so many lift kits, I've gone through uh, so many wheels, so many tires. People want this look, but nobody wants to pay for it. And what they get is a half built vehicle that you know, shakes, rattles, vibrates, rolls, rides like crap. So now that you've put 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever grand into your truck, depending on trim level, uh, you know, model, all that stuff. And you put a cheap lift, a cheap wheel, cheap tire on your truck, now it rides like crap. And then you have a gigantic land yacht that rides like crap because you didn't want to invest in quality parts. Uh, yeah, I saved up, I bought quality wheels, tires, and a lift. And I, I can say, this truck rides like a dream. Not a single complaint uh, I can say about this setup. Somebody messaged me the other day on Instagram, I forget your name, he's like, yo, how's your truck ride? I said, amazing, best truck I've ever driven. And he goes, oh yeah, same, but my truck vibrates between 70 and 80 miles an hour. And I said, the first thing within seconds, I said, what tires are on your truck? He told me, I said, there's your answer. Change those, save up, spend money on the Nittos, the Toyos, and like I said, your problem will go right, right away. So that comes back to where this video is going. I'm gonna show you videos here of what happened. A brand new 2019 Ram 1500 comes in the shop for a lift, wanting a three and a half inch rough country lift because obviously it is cheaper than its counterpart, which is a three and a half inch ready lift. All right, sorry for the wind here, guys, but here is the truck I just finished with a ready lift suspension lift kit. Here's the 2019 Ram 1500 uh, with a three and a half inch lift on it. Sorry if there's some wind, it's very windy out here today, but um, with a three and a half inch ready lift suspension on it. Everything all bolted up. Upper control arms, there's your spacer. Some moto metal wheels and uh, 35, 1250 ridge grapplers. These are 20 by 10s. The fitment is extremely, extremely tight. We had to do some, uh, uh, I had to heat up these inner wheel wells here and push them back to uh, gain, uh, you know, area for these 20 by 10s, the spins. In the rear here, here's the giant spacer compared to the uh, rough country. But that's about it for the rear. Uh, everything uh, pretty much unbolts, put your spacer in, and uh, button everything back. And like I said, I could put full confidence in a bunch of companies. Zone, BDS, Ready Lift, Thurin, uh, Kelderman, FTS, Cognito, Magoys. I could put confidence in all these companies and many more to put, you know, for lift kits on trucks. I can do that, but in this in this instance, I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna show you why, and you're gonna see why you do not spend money on cheap parts. So you guys have seen all the horror stories and all the people hating on rough country. Like I said, I could put full confidence in their other parts. Like I have a, I have a 20 inch uh, rough country light bar on my truck. Black series, super sleek, super nice, super bright. <laughs> like I said, I could put full confidence in their other part products, but I have yet and never have put any confidence in their full suspension systems. And their name is Rough Country Suspensions, is it not? Before the truck even hits the ground, lift kit breaks. Uh, under, you know, full droop of the suspension, the welds popped on the uh, upper strut mounts on both sides. Not just one, not just like a freak accident, both sides at full droop. The suspension, it, it pop welds on the upper strut mounts. I'm gonna show you videos here of the Rough Country next to the Ready Lift and you'll see the quality difference between the two. And yes, they are both three and a half inch lifts. The Rough Country is honestly laughable. It is a joke. Um, I will never even touch that again, even if somebody wants it. Um, I will never touch it. Somebody at Rough Country, they need to figure it out, and they need to figure it out now. Because, you know, safety of, you know, consumers and safety of customers and safety of people uh, in the off-road community is, is, is number one. You're modifying your vehicle beyond, you know, factory spec by far. I shouldn't have to worry about the suspension breaking before I even put it on the ground, taking it off-road. Uh, you know, Zone BDS, their policy is use it, abuse it. You know, take this thing off-road, beat it up, 
and if something breaks, they'll, you know, they'll replace it. Not straight out of the box. Bolting it up, it breaks. Okay, so the first video here is the Rough Country lift coming out of the box. Look at how thin that is. Look at how weak, and that's exactly the part that broke. Uh, here, look at the rear. You can see, look at that, the size of that spacer. Notice how it's not one solid piece in the middle. Also, same thing with the strut spacer, uh, the preload spacer here. It's not one solid piece in the middle. Look at the uh, construction of this uh, upper control arm. And I'm going to show you the part that broke here on the truck. You can see... Look at where the welds cracked. And that's the thing, most people won't see that. Um, and that's what scares me, is that most people won't notice, you know, the lift has failed. Uh, most people will bolt it up, put it on the ground, and send it. And that's what scares me, is that if that happens to someone else and they send that brand new truck, some serious damage can happen, and, uh, you know, off of cheap parts that were installed. Um, and installed correctly, too. That's the worst part, is that was installed 100% correctly. And, uh, you know, that part failed. All right, now here, I'm showing you the uh, ready lift out of the box. Look at how, the, both things are straight out of the box. Look at how well the ready lift is packaged. Uh, like I said, all wrapped in uh, plastic. And look at this, look at the, the, the quality of that spacer. You notice how it's one solid piece in the middle welded together. Uh, full billet aluminum preload spacer. Uh, full billet aluminum uh, top hat spacers as well. So here's your picture right next to each other. Here is your rough country spacer on the left and your ready lift spacer on the right. Look at that. You can see, first of all, look at the size difference. Yes, these are both three and a half inch lifts. Look at the difference, especially the quality. Rough country, not even a single, you know, cylindrical piece between, you know, the two parts of that. It's two angled pieces of metal welded in as spacers. I'm like, honestly, why? Why is there not a full you know piece of metal there? Look at the ready lift, especially size wise. Look at the size of that ready lift. Look at how much thicker the metal is and everything. That is honestly, you know, just know. Know what you're buying at the time. Know what you're purchasing. Know why uh, that Rough Country lift is super, super cheap. Here's a little close up video for you guys of the Rough Country spacer. And here is a close-up video of the ready lift spacer. Look at the quality. Look at that. The thickness, the actual, you know, size of it, uh, the construction. Overall, look at the quality of that part. Here's a comparison between the two upper control arms. Look at the, uh, you know, the thickness of the UCAs. There's a rough country. Look at how thin that is. Here is the ready lift. Uh, look at the thickness of that and the quality and construction of it. Like I said, know what you're buying. Know what you're paying for. Here's the part that failed. Look, if I could push this up with my thumb, you can see right there where that weld has cracked. You can see the space in that spacer, the little gap there. Um, yeah, that's not cool. Uh, especially when you're paying hundreds of dollars for a kit and you know, that's what you end up with. Not safe, not cool, and that's why I never recommend a rough country lift to anybody. You know, like I said, it's not my position with 30,000 ears listening to me to rag or, you know, talk down about a company, but when someone's life and vehicle are put in danger, it is, it is my position to get this out there and have rough country. Someone there needs, needs to, you know, get it together and needs to fix this. Uh, the, the, they're cheap parts, they're cheap quality. Uh, look at that, those are both three and a half inch lifts. How could you even advertise that as a three and a half inch lift uh, compared to the ready lift? I don't know, man. It, it, all I know is it just needs to stop. Um, there's lots of consumers out there that are attracted by Rough Country's cheap prices. You know, they don't, they don't know what they're buying and they need to know. Here's a full ready lift assembly put together. Uh, the, the billet aluminum preload spacer and the top hat spacer. Look at the quality of that. Here is it on the vehicle. You see, look at the quality. Look at the, the construction. That looks absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Amazing, amazing quality. Here's it with the tire on and on the ground. 
So what I'm saying guys here before my battery is about to die, pay for quality. You guys, this is this is a big old like PSA here. Uh, know what you're paying for. Know that the kit is cheap for a reason. Know that it's just not a good deal and you will have a bad time. Uh, this is this video is mainly for someone at Rough Country. Fix this. There are so many consumers out there that want to buy your products and I'm all for it. You guys started a company, build it, grow it, you know, make your money, do that. But don't sell consumers crap that will put their lives, you know, in danger and their vehicles in danger. I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, shoot this video a thumbs up. Lots of videos coming soon. Uh, a lot of mods this week. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't been here before. Take care, guys. And like I said, pay for quality. Peace.